Well, the 2014 cotton harvest is underway around Georgia, and the Monitor's Mark Wildman visited one farm in Cook County that depends on every family member to pitch in to make sure the crop gets harvested correctly and on time. In Cook County, the Williams family is doing what they have always done, and that is gathering up the family and heading out in the fields. It's cotton harvest time, and that means every family member knows their job. Joey Williams grew up in these fields, raising crops side by side with his family. It, me and my dad farmed together, Don Williams, and my mom, which is Pam Williams, she's, uh, she helps, pulls water. She basically does any claim that we need done, and then uh, she runs the stalk chopper. She's in charge of like the module crew, and then uh, my wife, she pulls water, nurse tanks around, goes and gets anything we need, and she runs the bowl buggy and uh, and kind of just anything that needs to be done, they can do. They can run pretty much any piece of equipment that we have. This year has been a challenging year for the family's cotton crop. Started out real wet when we was uh, trying to get everything planted and uh, and then about June it dried off and we was in a severe drought for, you know, uh, for the rest of the season. Basically it still hasn't rained measurable rainfall here. Um, I mean it's just been a real tough year. Cold conditions at the beginning and then real hot and dry conditions all during the year. Still, as the picker rolls through the fields, the yields and quality are pretty good, thanks to advancements in the industry. A lot of it's genetics and this new cotton that's a lot more drought, drought tolerant and a lot more, it's got a lot more giddy up. It don't give up. It'll, uh, it'll just keep on hanging there, hanging there, hanging there until it, until it gets a shower of rain and, and it can go and make a, you know, fruit. It's, it's trying to make cotton. Don Williams and family take pride, just like other family farms, in the way they run their operation, because every piece of fiber that leaves this farm represents their family name. When you take the families and they go to doing it together, they take pride in what they're doing. They take, they take it serious, and they do their best at that job where when you got a corporation and you hiring a pile of people, they, the, way the, pe the way people are today, they don't take pride in what they're doing. They all work hard all day long during the growing and harvesting season, but they do know when to shut down and relax. We work till the dew falls and then we just quit because we ain't gonna get through tomorrow anyway, so might as well just make it easy on everybody. Cotton farmers around Georgia are suffering from low prices but the Williams family feels it could have been a lot worse. It's been a tough year, but it ain't been the toughest year we ever went through. I mean, we've, we've went through a lot harder years than this. When you're used to getting, you know, good prices for your stuff and making a good yield, it's hard when prices start going down. You really don't know what to do. I mean, if you don't know when to price it, when not to price it, because it can go up and you can leave money on the table or it can go down and you lose a bunch of money. And I mean, if I knew everything in the future, I wouldn't be out here farming. I'd be sitting on the beach somewhere. Reporting from Cook County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.